Hi everyone, this is Evgeny and in today's video we are going to take a deeper look into MCP servers and we'll take a very practical task, we'll try to create our own MCP server which performs something really extremely useful. Alright, so what's the plan for today's session? Uh, first of all, we are going to reuse, uh, we do have already tools and this is from our Land Graph introduction series and those time I was talking about uh, creating kind of financial advisor and the question I was asking it was shall I invest in a Tesla stock? Well, probably not an actual question these days, but anyway, there's a technology, right? And we're going to look into this. So in general, that lesson we created, we already created two tools, uh, functions. Uh, the one was responsible for convert company name to a stock symbol. So having the question, the LLM was clever enough to convert the Tesla, which is a company name, to a specific stock symbol. And the second function was able to having the stock symbol to grab some financial data from Yahoo Finance servers. And then we provided all this information back to the model and the model was capable of predicting us kind of the future. So that's what we are going to repeat this time, but this time it will be not a standalone hard-coded function as a tool, but an MCP server instead. And uh, what else? I'm going to use cursor editor this time. And why cursor, not something else? Well, it's not crucial. You can use whatever IDE you want. Uh, we are using cursor here just because cursor has MCP servers integration. So after we finish, we can immediately check it in the cursor how everything works fine. Like we, we can go to the chat here to the model and ask the same question, shall I invest in Tesla stock? And we'll see if this model will be clever enough to grab our MCP tools and use them to find the answer on this question. And we are using Python and uh, we are using Python MCP SDK for that short lesson. For making it more convenient how to run it, I'm using UV Package Manager. And uh, probably the most important thing now, we are trying to build a local MCP server, which is using STD input-output streams. So the other way would be to create a remote server. Uh, it's, not, it's still not HTTP server or REST API as we used to, but uh, this is more uh, SSE protocol, server sends events, and the client uh, communicates is sending a POST request. It's not REST API, uh, but this is a remote server. And now we are, again, <laughs> that's not the... The idea of our lesson today, we're looking at a local MCP server that's communicating via STD input and output streams. All right, let's get started and let me go through the package definition first. And this is uh, something we need for UV, a package manager. And here are the crucial points probably. Okay, we are defining the name of our application. This is Finance MCP and some initial version is here. And we are providing a description for this service kind of package and the uh, bigger explanation is in readme md so we have some python requirements and we are using dependencies and again i mentioned the yahoo finance already we need that for fetching information financial information about the company and the crucial part we are using this mcp coi dependency and this is the uh, one from sdk we are going to use in this lesson and uh, the one final step, uh, we are defining the entry point for our package, and this is uh, our CI model and the main method there. And let's start from the tools. So this is something, well, probably I won't be going deeper in the details. I just copy pasted from our lesson, but uh, in very short, we have two functions here. We have lookup stock symbol. I mentioned that already. And uh, it's pretty clear, like for the names like Tesla, we are getting back TSLA as a stock symbol. And uh, it's pretty simple. We're just making a REST API call here, uh, providing the company name, and then back we have this, we are researching for the stock symbol, and then we're getting back the symbol itself and returning it. And the second function is uh, fetch stock data, and here we're using Yahoo Finance. So we have ticker or stock symbol already this time. And again, we are only providing two functions and we don't say that they are related to each other or something else. We don't provide any specific uh, order in which this function should be called. We're just providing tools for LLM, for the model, and we hope that model will be clever enough to find it out on its own. So that's the idea, working with tools and LLMs. So we get the stock symbol, uh, we're fetching some data. 
and we are returning we are, we are combining the data uh, so we have huge json is everything and then we are just returning it back so that's pretty simple has nothing to do with llms models tools nothing just normal uh, python functions which performs something and next we have an entry point to our application and this is uh, cvi python and um, this is a kind of uh, a wrapper around our server so what do we have here? We are we do have some CLI operations already, like we can provide help, and this is built into this uh, arc parse library, and we are providing a version, and uh, this is pretty simple. We are parsing the arguments, and the version is here. That okay? We are saying this is a financial uh, finance MCP server. This is a specific version which comes from from our uh, main module, and at the end, if everything is fine, we just run the server. And to run the server comes from our module server, and this is the thing where this MCP happens. So what's important here? Uh, first, we are importing this fast MCP server from the MCP package dependency we defined already, and we are importing tools, and these are the functions I showed you already. Uh, what's happening next? And here we are configuring login, and this is a very crucial concept which you need to understand. Again, we are creating locally running MCP server and the communication and transport here is this MCP protocol. And when you run your MCP server locally, then MCP protocol is something about communicating via standard input output streams. So if you have your logging, for example, in place and it's kind of it's kind of safe because it's emitting normal events into the uh, standard URL stream, but still uh, input output can be affected in this way and the recommendation here that you stop writing into the output stream like everything including logging so what we're doing here we're defining okay all the logs now they're going only to the file so we're not polluting our communication channel and this is the idea like it doesn't matter if you are working with python java uh, typescript this is a rule if you are creating this local server you should stop polluting your input stream and output stream okay this is a very important thing you need, you need to understand about that all the time and uh, next, okay, we are creating our MCP server. We have this class fast MCP. We are defining the name of the server, financial tools. And in the server, we are defining two tools and we are using this kind of annotation way, uh, markup, uh, MCP tool. And we do have lookup stock symbol. And uh, what's important here, we are providing doc string and this is the the information that uh, the model gets back and the model learns it and understands uh, why this tool is here and what it's possible to perform with this tool. So this is really important to have very comprehensive here description of what the tool is responsible for. And then what we are doing, we just log in it, uh, just the uh, tool was selected and again this goes to the file, not to the console. And uh, we are just triggering the tool and we have a result back and we are returning the result to the caller. And the same MCP tool we have for fetch stock data, and the same we do have a comprehensive uh, doc string here explaining everything, like what parameters uh, you can put there, what the expected result, and this information again will be fed to uh, the model for for better understanding why you need this tool at all. And the same like we are making a call to tool fetch stock data and uh, logging the call, and that's it. And the final step we run the server, and this one was triggered from our CI tool and uh, what's here happening it's pretty simple straightforward this is the, the main crucial point here we are just uh, doing this mcp.run and we are saying okay the transport protocol is yesterday io and practically i would say that's it we are ready uh, with our the first implementation of very simple mcp server using python sdk so which way we would run the server and this is interesting because uh, it should be up to the client to run the server since it's a local one and uh, check my previous videos. I was talking about that already. And if I go to README, we have this uh, the format. And normally, this is a JSON configuration file where you would define how or which way your MCP server should be up and running. And in normal case, it follows this syntax. You have the server name, like here. We are defining a command, and it's a UV uh, in our case. And then you provide some arguments, and it's possible to set some environment variables, etc., etc., but we don't need it at the moment. So we should, what we should do, we, we are running UV, we are saying, okay, the application is in directory. And this is kind of still in development mode, because once you're ready, probably you, the better way would be if you deploy your package somewhere, so you're not asking your user all the time to copy to the uh, directory to, see, to set here a proper path. In this video, we are 
following more kind of developer's way, right? So we are asking to run a CLI tool, a program from specific directory folder. Program name is this finance MCP, so run finance MCP. And this comes from this uh, definition, uh, which was here. So this one, we have a command, we define an entry point, and then uh, the MCP CLI uh, main function should trigger with that. All right, and I do have already MCP server configured, and this resulted into this list of tools, and we can see we have lookup stock symbol, and we do have, we can see this uh, docu string as here, and the same for fetch stock data, so our model is aware of why and in which uh, case every function can be used to, to, to not function, sorry. Okay, I think we are ready. It's up and running. It's green one. We can give it a try and see how it performs and if financial tools will be recognized at all. So I'm just going to ask the same question. I'm going to ask uh, developers ED about financial question, which is really stupid if you think about that. But from other side, maybe, well, this is a good demonstration of how our MPC works. So let's see. All right, and take a look. It was clever enough. It says, okay, uh, I have this lookup stock symbol, and this is a request for calling MCP tool that we defined. This is us, right? And we have a company named Tesla. So this one was uh, extracted successfully from our initial request. And if I run the tool, I can see the result of Tesla. And then immediately the model knows, okay, I have the Tesla TSLA as a stock and then I, I would need to fetch stock data with this stock symbol. And this is not a call for MCP2 and this is another our MCP server again. And for some reasons, uh, it's interesting because if we check the tools, or oh, let's go to the server, uh, the stock symbols, we are saying, okay, there's a period for one month, right? And But at the same time, we are described that period is uh, the period of the lies. It could be one month, or three months, one year. And for some reasons, the model decided to not be happy with this uh, one month by default. It defined one year period for some... I, I, have, I have no idea why it happened, by the way, because it was completely model's decision. So anyway, I run the tool. And we have result, which ended up in a lot of different information here. And then based on that information, we have some analytical data and recommendations. So again, uh, this is really amazing, right? We do have a, a cursor EI, a development EDE, which is capable of doing some financial advising for us. And this was possible because we created MCP tool that would support the uh, model with some factual information. All right, that was our first step uh, diving into MCP, like uh, making our hands wet or feet wet, I don't know. And it was very interesting because now we can provide uh, to the AI agents some additional tooling very dynamic way. So thank you for watching this video till the end. And next time we will try to build a client uh, that can talk to MCP server and we will see how it works at the end. And it was Evgeny, it was me, Evgeny. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time in the next talk about MCP servers and AI tools. Thank you and bye-bye.